Isle can go toe to toe with you. those swords, but I prefer my Got me eye on you. I'll be a priestess when I grow up. The one of stinky husband. Stop your hollering! Whoa, what a sword. Telling you, Geralt, since you and Yelmer defeated the Ice Giant together, I see you as one of our own. I got the look of a Skelliger. You've got the heart of an Uncrate. You ever play Gwent? Ah. Let's play. Good. You know what, Wolf? I have this rare card here. Take it. 
It'll be of more use to you. Thanks. You might consider challenging a man in Kertrolda village. A worthy adversary, though a mere tailor. Just as his name. Wanted to talk. This isn't easy, but I need to ask you a favor. A big one. Tell me, friend. Siri, I know where she is, but I also know that as soon as I reach her, the Wild Hunt will know I did. They'll come after us, attack, and we'll need to respond with strength. Can I count on you? The Black Ones first, now wraiths. Such is life. Bring her here, and we'll face them in battle. Can't risk your men's lives. Kaer Morhen, we fight them there, nowhere else. Kaer Morhen is hundreds of miles away. To move an army there would take weeks. Not to mention, I'd expose the Isles to Nilfgaard's blows. Geralt, forgive me, but I cannot do it. I understand. Won't take up any more of your time. Farewell. Wait. Won't let you leave empty-handed. I'll help as I can. Come with me. Beautiful craftsmanship. Got a talented smith. Not I. King Erland on Crane did. Erland Stonefist? So this is Winter's Blade. Thought I was a legend. Forged in Mahakam, tempered in dragon fire. Been in the Otten Crate family for centuries. And now, it's yours. Thank you. This can't be easy for you. I appreciate it all the more. May it serve you well. Send those specters back where they came from. That's my intention. Farewell. Talk. See ya. First time no, I'm here in the customs. Not ye, nor that witch yet. I advise ye not to look too sure, okay? Hey, you!
that held Uma proved hard to lift, but Yennefer and the Witchers managed to do it. The ugliest man alive revealed himself to be not man, but elf, and an elven sage at that. Avalach, for this was his name, was the elf Yes, Geralt? You, uh, holding up all right? Uh, it'll be a hard slog for everyone. You know what I mean. What am I supposed to say? I mean, I knew you and Yennefer... That you'd end up back together. It was a lost cause. Always. I guess so. I just don't want you to... Can we not dwell on it? I need to focus on other things now. Right. Understood. What did you want to talk about? I got a strange message. I don't quite know what to think. Who was it from? Ingrid Vagelbutt's servant. Apparently, Lady Vagelbutt's prepared to donate a tidy sum. She wants to help mages escape from Novigrad. Guessing this wouldn't be a selfless act of charity. You guess right. And that's my problem. Vagelbud needs a favor from me. No details in the letter, unfortunately. I'm supposed to meet the servant at the fish market. Says he needs to explain everything face to face, but these days I can't be sure meeting him's a good idea. Don't like this at all, but you seem determined. Not about to let you deal with it alone. Well, thank you. The servant. How are you supposed to contact him? Said I'd recognize him. He'll be in a blue tunic, have a load of keys strapped to his belt. I'm supposed to ask him about the price for his trout. Whose idea you think this was? The servants or Vagelbuds? My bet's on Ingrid. Highborn damsels have a lot more time than their servants to read adventure novels. Think it'll be better if I talk to the mystery man in the blue tunic? He's expecting to meet me. You just wait nearby. I'll make sure that note didn't come from the witch hunters, then you come in. Mm-hmm. Fine. Let's meet there.
day one again. Don't swing enough of the pages all day. Yes, Geralt? Feel all right? Hmm, so so. Why do you ask? Been wondering, how's your hand, your fingers? They'll heal. Listen, it was my idea. I knew exactly what I was getting into. Don't need to worry about me. Maybe we should... Gladly. I was about to ask the... So long, Joe. Jerkins. Interesting. Yeah. Know where I can get the best price on trout? Perhaps. But it wasn't you I was to meet, sir. Wanna to talk to the letter's recipient, I gotta be present. Caution would advise. Caution's advising you not to argue right now. Trust me. Seems I've got no choice. Come with me. This way. It's not far. First time I've laid eyes on him. Maybe, well, recently someone's been trying to question our messengers about the young Count. Hold on, where's Miss Merigold? You would come alone, miss. If not for him, that trio would have dragged you in for questioning. The tall one was Valdo Morris, works for the witch hunters. Aye, you're surely right, miss. I, it just worked what I expected since Lady Vagelbud Now that we're past the initial courtesies, maybe you can tell us who you are. Lady Vagelbud's valor. I... I meant you no offense, sir. Why wouldn't Lady Vagelbud meet with me personally? 
She was afraid they'd follow her. Been a nervous wreck of late. So what's this about? Be straight. Lady Vagelbud's son is the problem. Master Albert's taken an interest in alchemy. Temple Guard's gotten wind. Wouldn't worry about the Guard. But since the Mage Hunters tried to grab you, I'd say Albert's in serious trouble. Aye. Lady Vagelbud bought off the Guardsmen. But since the Hunters paid for every mage revealed to him... Guardsmen took a bribe from the frightened family, then whispered a word to the Hunters anyway. How did Ingrid Vagelbud know to contact Triss? That Triss was the right person? We learned Miss Merigold had helped Myra Base disappear once the witch hunters were onto her. Myra provided Lady Ingrid with magical assistance on a few occasions with Milady's um, afflictions. Makes sense. Myra mentioned treating a highborn lady to be once. Seems Albert needs to disappear as soon as possible. I can arrange that. Think young Vagelbug can slip out of the house unnoticed? Take that simple, sadly. Master Albert's in hiding at the Vagelbud's country estate. Lady Ingrid's got the notion she can get him out quietly, wants to throw a lavish masquerade ball. Am I supposed to attend? Help him escape? I will not manage without you, miss. Lady Vagelbud fears the help's being watched. It's a good idea. A boisterous bash that'll distract the hunters. Especially if even half of what I've heard about the Vagelbud's balls is true. Word is, at the last one, they served a hundred different desserts, and the fireworks boomed from dusk till dawn. What with the war and all, Milady's ordained but 85 desserts this time. Won't be no candy petals or blue roses from this air. The roses have become dreadfully hard to come by. Oh, I'd love to see it all. Expect any trouble during the ball? Hardest part will be to keep Master Albert's departure a secret from his grandmother. Is that necessary? Lady Patricia's a fervent believer of the eternal fire, knows naught about Albert's interests in alchemy. Luckily, the elder Lady Vagelbud's a rare visitor to the country residence. Truly an atypical family. I'm not one to judge, sir. Hope we won't have to stay till the end. You're coming with me? Of course I am. Not about to send you into what can prove to be the lion's den by yourself. Think about it. 85 desserts. While well, you're still trying to keep your waist at 22 inches. Geralt, please. How do we get to the residence? Your invitation. Take it. Guard at the gate will have instructions for you. You're to wear a fox mask, alright? Good luck to you. Think we can head there now? You're kidding, right? We have to prepare, change clothes, most importantly, buy our masks. I bet you can get everything we need for the ball at Ellie House shop. You know it? Been there before. Ellie a friend of Dandelion's. Just masks, right? Probably don't need to wear a doublet, do I? A doublet, Geralt. And it's not up for discussion. Take care of that, then come and see me. last individual who tried to come in on my business, it took them a month to find him. Am I being clear, Chief A? What's the fuss about? Can you not treat me as a bit of healthy competition? Why are you even talking to him, Duke? I've always maintained two smashed knees are worth a thousand words. <laughs> oh, get out! Glad you came. There a problem? A problem? There's some kind of problem here, gents. No. Oh, just wanted you to meet my new pals for the bugger the fuck off. Because we're just parting, right? We'll have our reckoning yet, Chive. Soon. What's this? 
Some flea with mutant got you scared, Duke. Just say the word. I'll take care of him. Take a peek at what he's got inside, then make the midget eat it. Sound good? Next time, Earl. Let's go. Right. Don't show your hides run here ever again. Well, that puts me up to the neck in fucking shade without a shovel. Shady, those guys. Who were they? The puffed up fish bladders, Duke. What does he's out to be the new horse son junior, but the bugger's missing a hell of a lot. Specifically coin, influence, men and class. And the other? Earl. A scum jug like few others. Skin of my arse twitches at the sight of him. Back in Mahakam, we'd send so buggers like that down the coalface with a bundle of powder and a leaky lamp. What's this all about? Doing business with them? Exactly the plowing opposite. Is he, uh, Geralt, old pal? About to ask me for help, aren't you? The thing is, I sort of kind of owe a wee sum to a mutual acquaintance, Francis Bedlam, the king of beggars. To pay off the debt, I've made up my mind to get serious about Gwent. Getting better by the minute. Not the playing of it, mind you, but the cards themselves. The rarest of them fetch princely sums these days. Sadly, that's not exactly arcane knowledge. Got a buyer in heat for my collection, missing just three cards. But Duke's dregs are all over my arse, so... What do you say, Geralt? Fine. We'll try to hunt down those cards. Which ones you need? Fringilla Vigo, Isengrim, and John Metallus. Devilish hard to get hold of. Duke's been trying too, hasn't had any luck. Wait, you don't even know where to look for these cards? Nah, it's not as bad as that. I'm betting Zed's got them. He quit fencing recently, only deals in cards now. Unfortunately, the arsewipe won't talk to me. Not after I bought a one-of-a-kind Scoyatel carved out from under his nose. Would you mind going to see him? Zed? Hmm, sounds familiar. Big fish in the card pond. There's a shop along the south wall. And thank you, Geralt. I should think I stand to pay off this debt now. No problem. See you later, Zoltan. Village are you from? We lives. Three days road from the Zima. We've got a rice here just before winter. Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards.
Greetings. Come to look over my spring collection, perhaps? Glad to take... Of course, please do. certainly took my request to heart. You mean you weren't being serious? Still got time to change. Don't you dare. You look great. You get everything? Everything's ready. We can go. A shame events like this are so rare. Without them, I'd never get to see you dressed up. <sighs> Damn, double is chafing my armpits. And it feels like they sewed wires into this. I'll be sure to admire your valiant suffering the whole time. Well then, shall we go? Greetings, my lord, my lady. We're Lady Ingrid Vagelbud's guests. Your invitation, please. It's in order. You'll find Lady Vagelbud in the estate's yard. Look for the parrot mask. Now, one more thing. Leave your swords here, please. Fine. A pleasant evening to you both. It's beautiful here. I haven't been outside the city in ages. How could he? With that scrawny harlot! Come now, don't cry. I'm in no mood. After I'm all, he's no not mood. the only man in the world. I'm in no mood. mood. Baronet! Where will I find Hello. another baronet? No use pretending you don't know me. Is that any way to treat an old mate? Refuse to acknowledge him? There's been a mistake. I don't know you, sir. Don't be foolish, Vivian. I'd recognize that mane anywhere. You might play the great dame now, but before that Baron Edward something pulled you from the gutter, you were a common. Enough. The lady said she doesn't know you. Who's this? The new one? Older than the last, it seems. A decrepit, moss-covered prick. So, the less they can, the more they pay. Got it? Let's go, Triss. Wouldn't want to make a scene. Vivian! 
Egon! Hey! Oh, I liked you much better when you worked the carriages outside the passing floor, huh? Come back! What a jackass. I'm not you. So dreadful it all. It's downright painful. Beg your pardon? Moritz, what are you doing here? Little Miss Marigold. Well, well. And I was led to believe this would be an elegant affair. Yes, I missed you too. But can we put that aside for now? Do you have a way out of Novigrad? You can join us if you want. Join you? And just who would I join? Your friends, among others. Once we've all gathered, I'll lead you. You will lead. Forgive me, Marigold, but that is like allowing myself to be led by a lame duck. Farewell. Who is that? He's an old friend. His name's Moritz Dyfenthal. Tell you the story later. This place at the table. It's rather unlikely he'll be back. What happened to him? Some good men took him aside to prevent him from hurting himself. So, shall we play? First, you shall face Margrave Vladimir de Cray. The man can afford to lose, so he's likely to be reckless. Let's do it.
One more round. When the cards come your way, you must spring on the opportunity. Your next opponent, Count Gomo Sili. In his day, his father lost the family estate in the Nimna Valley. Seems Gomo has followed in his footsteps. Yet, do not underestimate him. Desperate men can be dangerous. Let's do it. One more round. When the cards come your way, you must bring on the opportunity. Sir Marius Flore. They say he never loses thanks to his Zugubone amulet. Naturally, I could tell you more on the subject, but... Not in the mood. <laughs> Not in the mood to win. The truth is, we're already dependent on the Black Ones. Even so, shall we play? Sir Marius Flop, they say... Let's do...
So what? Sir Marius flop. They say he. Let's. They sit.
One more round. They say. Let's do.
Agreeing to help. My valet warned me you might come with a friend. I'd prefer as few as possible knew of Albert's flight, but if you trust this man, like no one else. Any sign of the hunters recently? Since they attacked my servant at the market, now all has been quiet. But I bribed a man of the temple guard. He claims there's more and more talk of Albert in the ranks. How did the guardsmen learn about your son's interests to begin with? Oh, unfortunately, I cannot be sure Albert himself was not the source. Merely boasting about an experiment. He's careless that way. Like his father. A kind man, but a dimwit. Devoured by an Arrakis. I don't know if you've heard. Yeah. Must have traveled far and wide. Hardly. He attempted to breed them. Perhaps I should be pleased Albert adopted alchemy as his hobby. A safe one, relatively speaking. Until recently, that is. Let's get Albert. Where is he? Entertaining the guests. He's always been an outsized presence at my receptions. I preferred not to arouse any suspicions. When can we take him away? We shall have to wait until the guests have imbibed enough to notice only the goblet-laden trays. Don't fret. It won't be long. we recognize him. He's donned a panther mask. He knew you were due to come for him. Seemed rather excited, ironically. I'm afraid he's not fully comprehended the danger he faces. As I said, he's not terribly bright. Don't worry about that. He'll fit right in with a good number of the other mages. Geralt! Let's go find him. I shall await word from you. Let's look for Albert. In spring time, the roads were clear of May. Can't breathe. My husband is supervising my trade. Ugh. Late for summer again. Hard finding work here, you know. With the eternal fire burning and all that. Well done, old chap. I'm not just some old shot. I'm a cow, damn it. So I told you. Told him off! Oh, Stuck him right in the bottom. <laughs> well done, ah, Jack. Mark, no, no. Well. Yes, darling. Albert Vagelbud? Phew, my sweet. I can be out of Valentino. Ooh. and reflexes of a panther. <sighs> yes. Nice mask. <laughs> Albert Vagelbud? No. <laughs> <laughs> I am a black panther. <laughs> oh my count! Your mom sent us, Mr. Panther. Oh, so you are.
Yes, when can we leave the estate? Well, Mama said it would be best to wait until everyone's drunk. Besides, there'll be fireworks later, a jolly good distraction. Once they've begun, I shall slip away, saunter into the garden. We'll meet in the hedge maze. Be waiting for you there. Very well. But first, you absolutely must try the Fiorano Rosé. Absolutely. Hope Albert hasn't forgotten the reason for this whole get-together. Wanna wait in the garden? I saw a nice spot there earlier. That mask off, if only for a little. Great view from here, and there's even wine. It's been so long since I've been to a feast, ball, or reception. Amazingly pleasant change from the sewers of Novigrad. So, does this mean it's a good time to ask you about? Yes. About that mage we met earlier? Ah, Moritz. What do you want to know? you meet? Geralt, all mages know each other. Some are well over a century old. That's plenty of time to make acquaintances. In that case, when did you meet him? At a feast, long ago. He walked up and just blatantly offered to teleport us somewhere quieter. You turn him down? Is that what you think? He actually pursued me for a while afterwards. Got the impression he doesn't exactly like you. I just think he'd love to have me as his charge, rather than as leader. See, but you're the one organizing the Mage's escape from Novigrad. Sometimes I have no idea how I actually managed to bring them all together. Thanks, Geralt. If you meant to say something nice, try again. I'm glad we came here together. Really? Despite all these bloated nobles, the bowing, the fake smiles? Mm hmm Not often we get the chance to just talk. Something you've been meaning to say to me? Someone's coming. <laughs> Is it Albert? No, just some lost guest. Shh. <laughs> Must be looking for his beloved. Like in that elven tale about the frog and the lark. Inchu, inchu, beag broga. Inch by inch, little frog. <laughs> Shh, let's go. Sure hope the other guests don't get drunk as quickly as I did. Sooner we get out of here the better. <laughs> oh no. I plan to have a good look at this famous maze of theirs first. I hear the statues there are completely entirely Entirely what? Newt <laughs> Come on, Geralt! Tris, wait. Geralt! Coming? Yes. 
this miracle at last. So sorry we are forced to meet under such incredibly inopportune circumstances. You can say that again. But I'm sure we'll make up for it another time. I absolutely must show you my alchemical formulae. Anyone follow you? I don't believe so. Just in case, you two switch masks. We'll go first. Garrett will follow right after. Saddled horses await in the stables. Good. Meet you there. circumstances, I'd give you the full Monty. Oh, I, I'm sorry, I... Albert Vagel. Please, step away, miss. Nobility's not towards you, Count. Try anything, and you will get bruised. Hmm, doubt it. to worry. Everything's fine. Though you should probably send someone to clean up the garden before any guests wander in there. I'm to send servants to the garden? Yes. I shall see to it. And you must hurry. Everything's set? Yes. Got your swords back from the guard. And Ingrid gave me the coin. It's, uh, it's more than I expected. Stunningly more, frankly. Excellent. So where are we gonna get away to? You? Nowhere. It's finally possible, probable even, that we can get all the mages out of Novigrad. You know where to find me if you want to say goodbye. Goodbye. What happened at the fountain? It was my fault. I know that the wine went straight to my head. I'm sorry. Tris, don't apologize. 
Miss Marigold. We need to go. I know. Be careful. Shit. Be gone, you!